good morning good morning it's a beautiful morning great morning good morning Huh? Mm -hmm. Um, it just named regular something. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning to you. And it is a Sunday morning, guys, and we are here because we're here. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Shauna James says good morning. Good morning, Shauna James. And let me see who else says. I, I don't know what's going on with my with my chat this morning. It's not um, I'm not seeing it. It's not staying. It's so many things that are happening to our to our our, our page this morning. Morning is at Oakton. Good morning to you. I, I I'm I'm telling you guys the the chat is going in and out like that. It's just bouncing and I don't know what to do. Um, men I know if I if I get your phone from it, sweetheart, and see. Sometimes the the something them get trouble. Say Lord Jesus, trust me. Ah oh, boy, see, my chat is not working. Why is my chat not working, son? Okay. Hold on. So may I try to find a way for talk to me. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it's one of those things. I'm begging you for some thumbs up, guys. All right, Shauna Jane said good morning. Prayer kid, good morning. The IG, the the G, the JG guy, good morning. Ashley to Ashes, good morning. And Hopeton, good morning to you, my brother, and my family. Yes, good morning, good morning. It's one of those days. It is one of those days. Yeah, but this morning we thought about it and and we're thinking that we should make a a healthy breakfast this morning. Yeah, so we're going to make a healthy breakfast this morning. So bear with me. I am still here and still trying, all right? And if have anybody, well, I know my Jamaican folks, um, we, we have just recently, we have we have been using, um, wait, wait, something your name? We've been using avocado for years, Jamaican's avocado that goes like two peas in a pod. But we have not necessarily used it in the ways in which I, I, I am going to present it this morning, which is in the form of a guacamole. Most Jamaicans not even waste time with guacamole thing. They're not in the guacamole thing. But we're, we're, we're doing what we're doing. Uh, Risa Gold, good morning to you. You are new to this channel. It's a pleasure to have you on. It's a, a, We appreciate you for logging on. It's a simple channel. We are not... Um, superficial or anything we're just a regular folks but we like we like cooking and we like expressing ourselves and and in our palate all right this is josh the real josh the food lover Bye. and this is my son and the wife is over there use everything and she's making she's making rice and peas yes guys she's making rice and peas and she, don't go with it i need it because i'm gonna oh you're gonna read the chat you have to read the chat for me all right, so this is Sunday morning, and normally on a Sunday morning, we get up in Jamaica. We would get up and we would make breakfast. We would do a little light, light cleaning if there's necessary, if it's necessary, just a little clean up the old type of thing, and then we would get ready for church. That's it. So this morning we're gonna do a little breakfast and then get ready for church. And I'm making a very healthy guacamole. All right, very, very healthy guacamole, and I do hope that you guys will join me. Josh Josh the really like guacamole, right? Yeah. Uh, Pass that, that, that cutting board right That's why you said you didn't like guacamole. In the like avocado but him like guacamole. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be making guacamole. And of course I'm mixing my guacamole this morning. I'm making my guacamole a little bit different this morning. 
and I'm combining two elements or two dishes in one creative way. Um, RGG, good morning to you. Good morning. And I'm com as I said before, I'm combining two elements to make one dish. So there are two things, as I told you, that Jamaicans um, Jamaicans use, but not using in the ways in which um, I'm presenting them today. One is avocado. And the next one is chickpeas. We don't normally use chickpeas like how they're using it. And we normally just we add it as, as um, vegetable or whatever. We don't normally use up chickpeas like how they're using it today. And so I'm going to be adding some chickpeas. Chickpeas. And, and um, Oakton said, I had some avocado with bread this morning. I'm looking forward to seeing what you prepared with it as well as... Um, please tell me some additional dishes I can make with avocado. Josh sound like the people who say I don't like pork but they like ham. Yes, yes, Reza. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> From Reza, but you know, to be honest and fair with him, um, from recently now, him not like, him not like um, pork. He has done away with pork, I promise you. He even bought a burger recently and, and find out the pork in the burger, the bacon. And him, him take out the bacon out of it, him not want the pork. Me, me never ever really. You know, worry me if him don't want to eat pork. That's a film decision and I, I'm proud of him for deciding that from an early age because me love pork. I used to love pork and then and then I, I start to understand the health ramifications of it and let me tell you what I like. I like the fact that we came to a decision as a family that we now do certain things and nobody never force we, nobody never push we. We just take our time and now do it. Good morning, Dion. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Um, she, she over there, so Diane. She over there, so. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. <laughs> this, Diane, Diane, I'm going to be interested in this dish. See her over there, so. Diane is going to be interested in this dish this morning because Diane is a health buff. All right? So, enough talking. Make we um, show you the list of ingredients right quick, all right? Okay. So, here we have our main event i have two nice avocado here well i have nice because i get them at the supermarket and with the supermarket you don't really know that's another thing jamaicans really and truly like by getting avocado straight from the tree when we get the avocado straight from the tree it is a different avocado from when we get it in the supermarket i promise you so we get it in the tree from the tree and we're gonna use it from the supermarket rather and we're gonna use it all right then I have my garbanzo beans or chickpeas here. And this is reduced sodium chickpeas, guys. Yeah, reduced sodium chickpeas. I have some cilantro and a uh, couple cloves of garlic right there. And I have half of a lemon or more, a little bit more than half of a lemon. I have some hemp seeds. Yes, yes, yes. That are the weed. Give me the weed, the good gant. All right, leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I have flaxseed oil. And flaxseed oil, guys, if you're vegan, for instance, flaxseed oil has more omega-3 in it than, than fish, than fish oil. So I have flaxseed oil, I have some toasted sesame seed oil over there, and I have some black pepper. I have this 21 season salute from Trader Joe's, and this 21 season salute is not powdered seasoning. It is actually this the, the just dried seasoning and let me just read quickly what is in it onion spices black pepper celery seed cayenne pepper parsley basil maria jam bay leaf oregano thyme savory or uh, yes savory rosemary cumin mustard coriander garlic carrot orange peel tomato granules um, lemon juice powder and oil of lemon so that's that's basically what's in this all right and then i have this also everyday seasoning that comes with the grinder and that's from trader joe's and this is also very very simple sea salt mustard seed black peppercorns coriander onion garlic paprika chili pepper and that's that and so we have all of those and as i said i have the hemp seed that i'm gonna add and see how simple yeah and again these are your preferences all of these powdered seed is your preference the flaxseed oil the, all of that the essential thing is what is right here that's the essential thing to this dish all right josh poo 
this is what you're gonna do for me plug in that that over there for me T lift up the lift up the board take up the board plug in that plug out the, the phone charger and plug in that over there for me so i'm just gonna get my stuff ready yeah and then we just quickly quickly make this thing for you guys all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put my cutting board down here so and we're gonna prep this avocado all right can i borrow the knife please yeah, a little knife. Yes. Not really. I'm gonna make a big big chef knife. I use a big onion. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna take this avocado thing. And if you're in South Florida, avocado is um is 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 um available um almost all year round. You know. But again, as I said, when you go to the supermarket and buy avocado. You, it's a gamble you don't know what to expect when you open your avocado but i think this one is good i think i hope well it's not bad see it's not bad it's not bad don't babes good morning mm -hmm. rico lane rico lane good morning to you, you rico. Know that is Dutch? nope why is your name rico can i get the the bowl Oh. I'm coming, guys. <coughs> Tell her what we're making, guys. Um, guacamole with, with peas, I guess. <laughs> when say guacamole with peas? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're making some some um guacamole this morning. And I'm putting um, chickpeas in it, yeah. So it's it's gonna be like a guacamole hummus, and I'm just cleaning out some of the little brown spots that are in the in the chickpeas, in the guacamole. Chunk, I mean, in, in the avocado. Why you putting in that? I'm getting rid of it. I don't want it. All right, and then you just take your avocado and you peel it most americans do it the other way most americans take the back of their spoons or take their spoons and just just go in like this and take out the avocado but jamaicans generally and caribbean people generally peel it because we have to take care of all the little ray rays you know so we normally just peel with something and them parts we don't really want to waste them parts here. You understand? So yeah, we don't we don't normally do that. Yes, I'm just taking out any little defects that I find in my avocado. And these are you, you feel good when you go to the store and get two avocado and them work out good. You feel good about it. Because sometimes you get the avocado and Lord help it. <laughs> when you open it, you feel so bad, you feel like them rabbi at the store. And I want to tell you, some, some of the, the lighter people of the lighter persuasion, no matter how brackish the avocado look and how spoil it won't be, them still I use it. You know? And then also, when, when you get avocado or guacamole in, in restaurants, sometimes it's not even ripe avocado they are using. Sometimes it's, um, it's like they, 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 they do a process where they, they make the avocado almost like turn. And then them use it. So your guacamole no really carry whole heap of flavor, and then they, they use the salt to substitute for the flavor, which you want to get rid of the whole heap of excess salt in here. This one is perfect, guys. This guacamole is perf. This avocado is perfect. Beautiful. This look like it could have saved our fight for eat to do dinner later. Save it. No, one, one is going to be a little bit tricky. All right, may, I, may I only use that amount. This is going to this, this is gonna stay back. So this part is going to stay back, and then me, I'm going to eat this with bula. Yeah, hallelujah. You know what nice? Ginger bula and avocado. Woo! Oh, yeah, Otan, that is a good idea. Ginger bula. For go with your avocado. Thank 
Conjurist. Hmm? All right, and this is the chickpeas over here. Um, I'm not 100% ready for the chickpeas yet. This is important. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime. Hold up, do the camera for me. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of the, of the just on the avocado so it don't it don't oxidize. And then I'm gonna cut open this lemon. I'm cutting open this lemon because I'm gonna drop in the entire piece of half a lemon in it or as much as possible. Yes, yeah, so you wanna get out the um the lemon seeds. And lemon unlike lime, lemon carries a very nice flavor when added to, to food. Um, lime is just basically sour some of the time and and so don't worry about how, how this look must messy messy right here so I know what may I do all right so I'm just gonna cut this up like such yeah all right I'm good to go with that I will take out what I need all right so you see how it look there don't worry about it don't worry about it okay now I'm gonna take my chickpeas and add it to my food processor. You wanna show this part, Josh? Let me put the food processor more up front. Flowers. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add my avocado. Good. Good morning, how's the weather? The weather is fine, you know. The weather is so nice right now. The sun is shining and the weather is sweet, according to Bob Marley. I do not know. Pay attention to me. Was because, Put because in, they call it another name in Jamaica. You don't call it pear. All right, so may I just drop in some of the, the, the lemon now? Yeah? And the lemon is to give it that, that tang. All right? And as you can see, my food processor is sort of small, so I'm not, um, I can't put everything. All right, so I'm going to do it in a little batches. Then I'm going to add some of this garlic, and garlic in, in this recipe, garlic is essential because we like garlic. And I'm putting the raw garlic, so it's going to be very, very nice. You can roast your garlic if you so choose. Yeah, look. adding my garlic yeah and then I'm adding a bunch of my um, cilantro and me, me something too, too liquor you know my food processor too liquor when we start make money when YouTube start pay me I gotta get a, a, a full size um, Yeah, so in Jamaica, them call avocado pear, you know, and so that's why we're not used to calling it um, avocado in Jamaica. They just call it pear, um, and that, nothing wrong with what them call it in Jamaica. It's just that, you, you know, you're there foreign, you just make reference to the name where you, you come here, come here, you know. So you pretty much just want to blend your avocado right there. And at this stage, you want to add a little bit of the flaxseed oil to help the process along. And flaxseed oil don't really carry any flavor. It just helps. It just helps with the emulsification, all right? So flaxseed don't really carry no, no whole of flavor. Where's that man? Big word. I'm church. Uh, we go to church at 11 o'clock in Eastern time. Go on, Joshua. Oh, 
11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. What? They could live in California. It's not the same It's time. the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Good morning. First time here. Laura had said that. Good morning to you, Laura. After Lime bring so far in life. Him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that me dash a line for lemon. No, it's not so it go. It's just that the lemon really and truly had a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. No, I know that's me dash way. I'm not giving up on my lemon and my lime. Mm -hmm. Let me add the rest of it. Call it pear. Yeah, we call it pear because a pear we used it's to. It's avocado. No, him, yeah, 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 him. He might have fire now, you know. He might have fire now, but it's avocado. So what they call pear in America is the sweet one. We call it like apple. You know? See me I try to put everything in and me I try to dump everything now into this the food processor. What do you call what do you call pear in Jamaica? Like the real Avocado. One? I'm talking about the one. The real one, we don't really get that. What? Is yeah, that we don't really get that. We call it pear too. We call it pear too, cause it look like avocado, it's shaped like avocado, so we just call it pear. Everything up here. That's how it goes. Everything a pair. <laughs> All right, more more blending now. Don't try this at home, guys. What I'm doing here, don't do it at home, please. This is highly dangerous. And I'm going to add a little bit of the sesame seed oil at this stage. And just a little bit of that because that is very strong. Can you put salt? No, not yet. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, I don't want the motor to get overheated for true. But you just want to blend your your avocado as as best as possible. And yes, it's true because this little small motor it can it can get overheated pretty quick. So I'm just pretty much just pushing my ingredients down. It's coming out nicely. It's gonna be still a little bit chunky, but I'm, I don't mind the chunks, um, you know. And so that's good. That's good. But this is a great way to utilize your avocado and your chickpeas, guys. Great way. And as you can see, it is it's awesome, 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 awesome. Yes. Yeah? The channel. Your channel for us viewers is more than food. It's also about family and love. The Bible says the greatest of these is love. God bless you all. Always a pure, bad breed. Pure. Make me get a my supermarket. <laughs> a pure, bad breed. Pure. Me get a my supermarket. <laughs> he doesn't read patwa well. <laughs> all right. So now what? No, this is so good. It tastes so good. See. You're gonna love this one. I'm gonna add some of my um, my powdered seasoning now before I give it a last twirl. And I love this this type of seasoning, guys, because it's not as I said. I, I apologize. It's not powdered seasoning, right there. It's not powdered seasoning, guys. It's it's just dried herbs, a combination of herbs. And I love that because what it does is it really and truly you get a little kick of each herb and it, your flavor palette. Your taste notes in your mouth just goes and explodes. More when salt. I'm not using salt. You don't see no salt on the table. Wasn't that seasoning salt? No. I'm doing the 21 seasoning right here. When you get yours, you put a little salt. Yeah? Go and buy your business. Go and buy salt. There's hmm? salsa here too, I think. What? There's salsa here too. There is what? Salsa. Salsa? Nice, I love it, love it. Coming out nice, coming out nice. 
Again, please don't do this at home. Okay. What does it smell like? Lord it not have no Korea. smell. It not have no smell. It just... It yes, just, it, it's, it, it has smell. You smell it? It smells like... Like, you know what? Like, you know It smells like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it smells like. It smells like, like you know what guacamole in like restaurants, like chilies, smell like. It smells like that sort of. Can you oh. please speak with a British accent for thirty seconds when you're talking? It's humorous. <laughs> Who said that? Who said must speak with a British accent? Justin, Justin B. You know, say I try make up. <laughs> you have to say it. No, I mean, no. <laughs> yes, you have to talk. I'm scared. About All right, let me see if I can speak with a British accent. Good morning. <laughs> Why? Do the grapes? Do the grapes thing. The grapes thing. With the guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> do the grapes thing. Oh, you mean Craig? All right. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. Let me just put it. I'm gonna put it in this bowl right here. Just okay. pour it out in this bowl right here to finish adding um pay attention to me josh finish adding my my little bitsy bitsy um yeah and get a final mix hold on this is a little messy part of it one have to bear with just bear with it okay if you're at home and doing this in your house, it won't look as bad as it looks when I am doing it. That you don't know me. <laughs> it looks like I'm making a mess, but I'm not. What Optan says? He said, okay, we have to take Josh to Jamaica and leave him in the rural for a month so that he can catch up on his patois. Patois, yeah. I true, I true. I can't come left him down and grab him grandmother. In January. I live in my grandmother. I'm good as I'm good as fiend because he now have no no internet. Al Johnson said it needs a dash of something. It needs a dash of something. Al, when I leave my thing alone, Al. <laughs> Al, when I leave my thing alone, Josh. All right, okay, right there. Let me put this over. Hold on, step back a little bit, Josh. Yeah. Let me clean up this little part. This mechanism here. And this is what happens when you use your food processor, guys. You have to just, you have to just take the time and clean up your, your thing. In, on the foreign shows, what they do is they, they, they skip all of this part so you don't see these gory details. But on this little show, we have to clean up our stuff. And when no, 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 I look, I'm going to take my finger and lick off all of them something. So, mm hmm. Okay. Um, at this stage now, you want to. Drop in your little, Sorry. your little hemp seeds, and hemp seeds, as you know, is the the um mold 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 seeds from the ganja plant. My brother in the area. And you drop in your little hemp seeds and make your thing look good. Just pay attention to the camera. Yeah, you're you're the film man, so you have to you have to give it justice. Do us justice. And then. The rest of my the rest of my cilantro I just bunch it up like that pay attention and then take my kitchen scissors and just quickly and this is just a regular scissors that we adapted to our kitchen so we now it's not like we use it for anything else you know again our channel is based on necessity and so we never have money for go buy foreign kitchen scissors and all them at things there eh? we buy one pack of scissors and this was the big one we coming out no as a matter of fact the kitchen one did break don't it see I think so. yeah and we say you know what now nah, buy no more scissors right now when scissors come it come because my channel we we speak a lot about turning our take your hand on i go see turn your hand make fashion
and this is great on crackers it's great on 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 toast it is great as a side dish and whatever you want to add to it and this is beautiful right there or avocado awesome yeah and if, if you want you could take back some more of your chickpeas and just mash it a little bit and add it to it so if you want it more dense you want it a little bit more dense babes yeah because it's very it's very light right now tell me so you just pretty much take your avocado and just take a fork and break it up pay attention show sure, sure what i'm doing here you take a fork and you just break up your avocado you hear me your chickpeas and i'm using canned chickpeas if you are if you're cooking from scratch you have to use the one you have to boil it and do all of those things so you just basically break up your chickpeas like such rough you know rough thing and i promise you guys if you try this you see all if you fry all eggs and you want to put this on a sandwich and, and put it with the egg may i tell you it would be awesome and you just add it and the flaxseed oil that i use guys is very very good for those persons who are struggling with blood pressure issues yeah the flaxseed oil is excellent for that um because the omega third omega trees that are available in it and it's it's so good you know um that you can get plant-based um omegas and they are really and truly a little bit better than the the um the, the sea base or the oil based ones you know the sea hear me the, the, the animal based ones i don't know why i'm talking foolishness this morning but there you go there you have it beautiful you me. <laughs> there you have it look on that oh that look good easy way to clean blenders and food processors put water in it and turn it on for a few seconds well it gets all the stuff all the blades and hard to reach parts. thank you so much for that that um little pointer right there it's awesome awesome good morning turn on the, turn on the blender Angela. and then um do the thing but the and i'm just gonna pour out my thing now in a nice little bowl um, we're making guacamole with avocado and chickpeas mm-hmm <laughs> He said potato salad. <laughs> it's guacamole. <laughs> it's looking good coming from my chair. I may clean out the bowl as I say. May I make sure everything come out. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tastes so good. And I'm just adding a little bit at the end now. I'm adding a little bit of sea salt. Because the longer you have salt in your product is the, is the more salty it becomes. You don't want to add extra salt, you understand? What you said, darling, I didn't I didn't know. Oh, the time you have a And this is the Maya lemon knife. Looks fantastic. My mouth is watering. That's oranges or something? No, lemon. Oh. Some lemon on the top right here. I just a try to present it to make it look sort of decent ish, you see? Hmm? 
Josh, this one's for you, me, uh. <laughs> really? He put it in that, so I don't understand. <laughs> me, uh. Me, uh, go, uh, yeah. Go and learn enough, Patua. <laughs> and, uh, I'm me, Fitzel, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get my trouble, Josh. I'm gonna have a genius guy. I know better English. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Don't anybody eat Patua by the way? That would go good with some hard dough bread. If you love guacamole and hummus, this is for you. Indeed. Just leave it there. Josh, I talk to the people there. Good morning. DDL. DDL. Alright. No, I'm just going to um, drop some scallion. Just a couple of little pieces of scallion from the top to make like a green, add like a greenery. It's green enough, but yeah, you still want more greenery. You have to present your thing and make your thing look like a comfortable. What, the, what does the title say? Eh? What's the title? Healthy guacamole for breakfast. And then I'm just, I'm just drizzling, a, touch it with a little smoked paprika. And the wife is suggested that I drop two pe pepper flakes on it, just with a little kick. You have the toast ready, babes? Yeah. Listen, I can, All right. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, it look, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, it look. Eh? Josh sent him to go bathe half hour left. Why do you want <laughs> to see you go to church so bad? Who does? Al Josh. I'm going to leave the other one, Al. Weak. Walk good, Yardy Valley. Look, see, um, church, church calls. Blessings, blessings. See, Put a cherry tomato for a pop of color since you want color. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're not putting a cherry tomato on it. He said he wants pears. For the people that love bell peppers, sweet peppers as we call it in Jamaica, this would go well. Mm-hmm. And a mother. <laughs> wow. Wow, you see how she stay, guys? She, she did tell me to put bell peppers and I said no, here I know, but tell him again. You see how the everything stay? Wow, that is so bad. And chips. How this look, guys? May, may, may I tell you the truth? For your breakfast, this is awesome. Nice little touch, this. You see me? Your, your avocado, nice with your, with your, um, guaca, with your uh, chickpeas and it makes a nice guacamole. Or a hummus, you can be an avocado hummus, and then you have some toast bread here and some um, nice corn tortillas. And I do hope that you can get up in the morning and turn your hand and make fashion, make it work, make it fix it, that make it work for you. Yeah, understand? Because I can tell you, there's no better way to eat than healthy eating. Beautiful yeah? and healthy, and a boiled egg. And a boiled egg. You know we're not leaving out the boiler because that's how we stay, you know, we're Jamaicans. We're not leaving out the boiler at all. It's important. Looks delicious. Yeah? Join us again in the coming week when we put out another live video of our meal escapades. <laughs> we do hope, we do hope that you guys was, we inspire you. And we do hope that you guys, you know, will uh, join us once again in the coming week for more nice food yeah we have some real good food we have to put out guys so bear with us and thank you for liking sharing subscribing thank you for for you know participating with us and please remember if you like what we do support our our, our merchandise store by clicking the shop now button and choosing one of the apparels that we have for sale yeah i promise you you're gonna like it why if you gotta take our instagram pictures and them something there and then we go and get ready for church. Yeah, may I tell you?
take a picture, girl, take a picture. The food look good, but not tell a lie. My head hurt me right now. My head is hurting me. Yeah. We don't have no bulla. <laughs> we need bulla in our life. This house cannot run with, without bulla. Bulla is the staff of life. We need some bulla. Growing up on the banks of the hope. Never lose and we never lose hope. Put your first and second and third. Watch your blessings come forth. Blessings come forth. Big up Agent Sasko. You block the light, babe. It no matter. Okay. I'm taking a picture. Big up Agent Sasko. Can we put your first and second and third? Watch your blessings come forth. Blessings come forth. <laughs> Yeah. What's your Instagram name? My Instagram name is Yardy Belly TV. Uh, Laura, Laura Henry, Yardy Belly TV. And Josh the, Josh the Food Lover is Joshua's um, Instagram name. And the wifey is One True Natural. Yes, One True Natural. Or? Or... Candy's, candy's hair creation. Or Candy's hair creation. So if you like hair and you like no, hair styles. Candy hair creations. Oh, Candy hair creations. Z -z -z -z. He will type it in the description. Yeah. What is it? Um, at Candy hair creations. And Josh, and then... Um, and the next one is Josh the Food Lover. And the next one is Yardy Belly TV. So go ahead and follow us guys and we're going to definitely put up uh, a lot of stuff on our Instagram um, uh, stories and on our Instagram page. As a matter of fact, the wife is going to give you a little hint at the rice, and, the rice and, and, and peas that's cooking as well. And so follow us on those mediums and you will definitely, definitely be loving what we do. Al Johnson said, pray for me. I'm going to pray for you, sir. Father bless al johnson and his family give them good health and strength help them lord god to achieve all that their purpose requires that they achieve and for all those persons in my timeline this morning who are chatting with us online we pray lord god for your mercy to be extended to them and their families in jesus name all right so this morning we appreciate you guys and as we head out to worship as we head out to church we do ask that you guys main, you know, remember us in prayer as well. And we, we really and truly thank you guys for spending the little time with us. We appreciate it. For every single person that is on our timeline this morning, we appreciate it that you have spent the time with us. We don't take your time lightly. So go ahead, have a blessed day and have a blessed week. And the Lord go with each and every one of you guys. Anything else to say, baby? Remember, Blessings. remember, turn your hand and make fashion. Live and laugh, okay. cook and eat. Let me show you a close up of the, the, the guacamole. Cheese and peas. The guacamole is just so very guacish. Watch it. It just, it just look nice. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the wife just outdo herself with the, with the thing. Yes, sir. All right. Nikki Bling. All right, Laura, I'm going to I'm gonna search for your Nikki Bling and we're going to add each other and follow each other on Instagram and make the thing work just like that because we're one big family. You know, I heard a story this morning. I just saw something this morning real quick. Um, Grace Love Pink, good morning to you. That a, 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 a black American guy was doing an interview and him say, him says, black people, we have been cultured so much to eat one another that we don't even smile with one another when i say hello with to one another and we walk by each other our brothers same skin color we may come from different backgrounds but we are the same 
but we're not used to dealing with each other in good ways and loving on each other and, and, and wishing the best for each other. And so this morning, I want to break that chain and break that yoke. We love you. We love each and every one of you. And we love you in the, with the love of God because we are all God's children. So this morning, as we cook, we look at guacamole and we look at something, something, something. We're glad to share on a day with for share with us or just because we're not the one place where we go like we could have eat. You understand? I eat together. So we just want to extend the love of God to each and every one of you this morning. It's a beautiful day. Them call it the Lord's Day. But every day is the Lord's Day. But this morning we are going to the church house to worship. And my church is Open Bible Community Church in North Miami, Florida. So we're big on up and we love the whole on and us. Make the day a good day. God bless you now. Yeah? Remember, me, Laura said, pray for husband. He's in the hospital. Laura Henry, may the Lord go before you this morning and touch your husband in physical ways. Touch your husband in meaningful ways. May the Holy Spirit even give you comfort and give him comfort right now. I pray for healing, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for Laura Henry's husband. And that he will even right now start to feel better. Yes, and he will, you, will get, you will send back the report and say he has been, been touched, been healed, and you feel good about that. This morning we pray that God will go before you and cover him under the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray for healing in his body. We pray for healing in his mind. We pray for physical and emotional and spiritual health. We pray for your entire family. We pray for your entire family today in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will just cover you under his blood in the name of Jesus. God is sovereign and our lives is in his hand. And whatever God decides, we have to accept it because we are subjected to him. He is sovereign, he is king, he is ruler, and we can only live on his mercies day to day. The Bible says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and his mercies will never come to an end, but they are renewed every morning. So this morning, we're praying for new mercy, not only for Laura Henry and her family and her husband, but for every person that is listening to this, this, this uh, video right now, for every person that will watch it in the future, we pray that the Lord will just cover, the, cover us under his blood and give us healing in Jesus' name. Sonia Lindo, good morning to you. She said she go to open Bible. Which open Bible you go, Laura? I probably them know me, you know. I'm Saint Hope and I'm the youth pastor at my open Bible, which is no open Bible North Miami. God bless you. I yeah. must keep my eye on the rice. Yes. So me can't blink. No. What's here? She's Lord have mercy. You should go live in where? You too. We're not be a miss be it. Keep me eye on the rice, so Keep me hype on the rice, oh. Keep me hype on the rice, oh, me say. Keep me hype on the, keep me hype on the, keep me hype on the rice, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, she making, she making brown rice and peas like Jamaica, like Jamaican rice, but rice and peas. Oh, Lionel Town, Lara Henry, open Bible in Lionel Town. Big up yourself, girl. Big up yourself. When you go on, um, when you go on. Facebook, search for Open Bible Community Church in North Miami. You understand? And and like us on Facebook so you can know what I'm going and what I'm going And next time I go to Jamaica, Laura, I'm going to come online and make you know so that we can meet up and come down to your church. Yes, down at um, Open Bible line at all. She mentioned that all? Yeah. Goes to Baptist. Two, we go together. God is good. God is good. Laura, thank you so much for reminding me. Yes, God is good. Um, we are take the time and, and grow. We are take the time and live. Guys, me have a problem. Many you don't have to pray for okay. me. Because, are right, you see them something here? Me love them something here. Pretzels and them something there, right? But it's not good for me. Me are telling them my weaknesses so they can be here with me and pray for me. Yeah, you can take it. But guys, me, me a boy, we, we snack the whole night. And I dip snacking, I give me a problem with the blood pressure, you know. Can you see all this now? It's full of salt. It's full of salt. Look how much salt per serving. 18% of your daily intake of salt per serving. She doesn't go to Jamaica. She, she goes. She lives in New York. 
Oh, she live in New York now? Oh. But she used to go open by me because I get the understanding now. I just get in the full comprehension of the involvement. So, so yeah, so I'm going to pray for me. You want to taste it live? Take up a piece and take up one of this, this something. You guys, I'm going to taste it live and show now. Go ahead, child. Oh, it tastes. Boy. It tastes good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It tastes good. I'm saying like it. Boy. There's something nice. Something nice, nice. Yes. There's something nice. All right. Make me not stay no longer. I don't know. God is good. Laura is in Queens. Laura, I was in Queens recently at a concert. I did a concert in Brooklyn, but I stayed at the hotel in Queens. The one that is near the Marriott near to the airport. Mm -hmm. It's nice over there. I like Queens. Queens is a little bit nicer than Bronx. Yeah, hey. Who no like Bra who, who have a customer about Bronx now? Who no can cost me? Jamaicans reverse the time, man. Only we will turn food channel in a worship service. <laughs> but we have to do what we have to do. Don't, don't, don't DNP. We have to do what we have to do because people, if people need the prayer, we are pray for them. That's how thing go. We are pray for them in here. We now make them go without a prayer. Because my mother used to say, pray for the people, them. If we can pray for the people, them. <laughs> they all say, <laughs> all, all across me. No, we be like over Browns too, but no, no, no. So, you know, one of the problems I have, guys, one of my problems is this. When I come to New York, I always end up amongst Jamaican people and I pay Jamaican food them when I'm. I'm tired of eating Jamaican food when I go out. I need to eat some different types of food. You understand? But for drive, that's why I can't cuss your boy <laughs> Prayer kid. They don't know what things said. <laughs> yeah, the last time I was in Queens, we ate at the doors. Nice. The, I think the doors is without any question the doors is one of the best jamaican restaurant in the united states and then not pay me for endorse them the quality of service the food i mean the standard with them set i wish jamaican restaurants and i'm going to do a little vlog about it you know i start vlog at the jamaican restaurants them and and i make going to decide on the quality of them you understand lara says she's walking distance from the door lara i walk from the hotel got the doors and catch a piece of coal, bad coal. 40 degree weather on me, but me, I'm walking from the hotel to the doors. Me say, after me eat the food, a piece of bad feeling take me. But me I tell you, I'm going to do a vlog about the quality of service that Jamaican restaurants produce in the United States. And I promise you guys, you're not going to sew me at all. The doors, big up. Me have to big up the doors. From the, the waiting staff to the food people them. To the, 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 the decor, the ambience inside of the building. Nice. Nice, may I tell you now. Straight up. Nice. We're supposed to we supposed to step up with standard because Jamaican food is one of the most sought after food in the in the United States. So the restaurant them in a Jamaican if it's in America, the Jamaican restaurants in America if you step up them standards. May I tell you the truth? Yeah? Sometimes you go in at some little restaurant and I say, I'm going to cook shop, them are set up, to, you know, and, and then the problem is some of the Jamaican them want to set up restaurant and them can't cook. When you go in and taste all them oxtail, the oxtail white, the oxtail look like them use water to cook it. it, it certain things not set right. You say if you can't cook Akian saltfish and you can't cook Kalalu and saltfish as a Jamaican, not open a restaurant. Let me just tell you. And if you can't cook rice and peas, not open no Jamaican restaurant. Because Jamaican rice and peas not feel white. Even if a gungo rice and peas, it not feel white. If a red kidney bean, it's supposed to be red. So me just attack the things them right now. Yeah. The doors is good, man. Yeah. But them dear door, me have to go over there. Me have to go carry one hundred dollars like next time. But them let me tell you what me get. Me get the salmon in a rundown sauce oh lord help me jesus oh hallelujah glory mm. ah i feel the spirit mm. hot color low bun dog i feel the spirit just thinking about the salmon with the 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 um with the rundown sauce the salmon in the rundown sauce at the doors was so good me ask the sh the, the waiter if him can give me one little uh, little container it i'm never cook it you know i promise you this week i'm gonna cook it 
salmon cooked down in run down sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna cook it. Me say, it tastes good, 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 yeah. I'll know my head hurt me from it. Trust me. Salmon in run down sauce. It was awesome. You want more? Take more. Trust me. Wait, come on, let me show you, man. Yeah, eat the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, them have Sunday brunch too, so good man, hallelujah, glory to God. Huh? No, it tastes good, may I tell you. It was really good. Yeah. yeah? And them have the jerk, the jerk T bone steak. That was awesome too. The jerk T bone steak was very good. Alright, so Megan again guys. Love you all. Wanna say respect to you all. Have a happy Sunday. Great. You and your family. And if, if everything work out this evening, maybe we even go live this evening. I would just sit down and reason, yeah? Okay. So big up to you guys. Thank you once again. I love your support, man. I appreciate it. And if I can if I can pray for each and every one of you, I will. You know, so God is good. And just keep on loving on Jesus. Alright? Blessings.